Hey YouTube, this is Sinister Tutorials coming at you with another episode for tutorials for beginners on Command Prompt for Vista. Um, this one and another one I will be doing. I'll be doing a fourth one. It'll probably be just like a few minutes long, like three or four minutes, just because I'm going to show you just another one, another few uh, commands. But um, since I won't be able to fit it in this one, and um, also how to, and also uh. This is just basic commands, so I won't be doing basic commands anymore. I'll be doing more beginner, uh, beginner commands and uh, doing different stuff in there. Then I'll move on to intermediate uh, and then expert. So uh, let's get started on today and uh, the next one after that, and then I'll get into more detailed stuff after that. But this is just basic commands for command prompt, so let's open it up. All right. Now, the one that I have now is called Echo. Uh, it just shows you it, all Echo does is just say uh, display messages and it allows you to turn it on and off. As you can see, mine is on, and uh, you can turn it off by turning Echo and then off. But I'm not going to do that because it takes a while for it to load. Okay, the next one is uh, let's see, I'll do okay, let's do gr result gp result. Okay. GP result. Um, this I'm not. I don't want to read it, but I will. I just read the your first few. Um, uh, slash s is for system slash u is username slash p is password slash s is scope and user target name and all that. And this is just the description of what it does. Um, this is the parameter list. All it does is list the uh, parameters or the extensions to the command that you can do in this, the description of it. And this is right here. What is that again? Uh, this. Yeah, this just tells you what kind it is. And here's some examples. I'll do one example for you. GP result. Then you do space slash user uh, space. Then I'll do CS3 tutorials. There's a one. And then I will do space slash B. All that does is oh crap um. Okay, I messed up. There we go. That'll do it. Now it does get the profile information of CS3, of my account, CS3 Tutorials, and it will show you here right now. And it's got a little bit more to go, as you can see. Yep, there we go. And all it does is show your internet stuff, internet uh, security and all that good, and all that connection and all that stuff that uh, is on there. And it doesn't show it. And then it shows you my security groups that I'm a part of, and also the apply group policy uh, last time policy was applied also my OS version my OS configuration and uh, when my account was created um, so yeah it's basically your account information on all that general stuff okay next we will be doing um, okay let me see I can't remember which one I was gonna do Okay, yeah, this one. Task kill. Oh, no, task list. All it does is go, like in uh, your task manager, all it does is list your task. This is uh, your basic, uh, this is your task name followed by the file extension. Then all you have is the PID, and then uh, which is the process ID, and then your, um, what is it? This is that one again? Uh, session name, and this is uh, your. Uh, session number and this is how much memory it takes up alright now with using this list you can also do task kill uh, then I'll do slash that for information there we go and all it does is show you the the extensions to the um, uh, command and uh, you can find out for yourself just type in task kill slot space slash question mark to find out what these are, I don't want to read them because I don't. I don't have that much time since I am not a YouTube partner and I do not have a lot of time here. All right, but I will do an example for you. All you do is type in task kill. Um, let me open up a Firefox for you, and I will put it over here, right here. There we go. And then I'll do task kill. Then space slash f space slash i am f is for fi uh, filter, so it filters out what you need slash dash I am is for the image the uh, file image name then I will do Firefox dot exe 
which is just basically the uh, name, then slash T, which is terminate the process. Hit enter, and watch this right here. It terminated Firefox for me. Um, it all it does is terminate the process, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna restore that. Um, which uh, this is just basically the. Uh, no, I do not want that one. Sorry, guys. Um, I'll probably cut this out. Okay, and uh, this is just your process, your process ID uh, for the main, and then this is the uh, ex the uh, child, which is basically the other one that was open. And I'll do two more for you. Um, okay, sys. Crap. Okay, system. No, I didn't do that. I already did that one. Sorry, guys. Um, so basically, you know that one and that one. Then I'll do WMIC. And all that does is show you um, your interactive command shell. And it displays the WMI information. Uh, I'm going to type in quit to get out of that. And it goes back to normal. Okay. And, um, okay, prompt. All it does is allow you to change this right here slash the slash user slash CS tutorials from prompt and I'll type in YouTube dot com slash and all it does is change it to YouTube slash which I think is pretty cool then we will uh, then just type in prompt to change it back and also one more shut down which allows you to shut down your main machine and uh, uh, yeah just should basically shut it down um, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, uh, one more, um, one more I can get in. Bear, all it does is tell you Windows version. But that's about it. And then clear this, the LS to clear the whole list. And um, all right, guys, this is CS3 Tutorials, and uh, I will see you guys later. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com/slash CS3 Tutorials. Subscribe, rate to my videos, and I will see you later. Exit and Command Prompt will close. And uh, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.